Hi guys, I'm Roxy and you're watching Crafty Dragon Gaming. Before we go any further, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and if you want to follow me over on Twitch, you can do so at this address. In this video, we are continuing our journey with Larry and we need to somehow convince Lance that he is actually gay and that he is destined to be with Dick. The character, not... Anyway, let's go and see what he's up to. Okay, so I remembered that we were given a voucher for health pool. I'm just going to go and see if I can use it. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so it was a skin voucher. A gift certificate from Hell's Pawn. Looks like it's printed on skin. Oh. It looks like it has like a bottle on it, so maybe I'll get a free bottle of something. Get to hell. I have any idea what that thing's saying. Oh, all of a sudden, there's a bottle of champagne in my pocket. Spooky, but not unpractical. So we have a bottle of bubbly. Okay, so there was there is a bottle chiller at the pier. So let's take it to the pier. Because it feels like we need to, we're setting up like a wedding scene. Um, maybe Larry and Dick are going to get married. Not Larry. Not Larry. Didn't mean Larry. Lance. Before I didn't slip there. Maybe Lance and Dick are going to get married. After we've convinced, see there's a champagne bucket. After we've convinced Lance that he's actually gay, obviously. So we're going to put the champagne in the champagne that bucket. keeps the bottle nice and cold. Okay. What else do we have? We have a wedding lectern. The door to the altar is locked. And it needs book a book on it. on it. I don't have a book. I just have a possible wedding ring. Okay. Um... Okay, so I'm going to head back to... I think I'm going to talk to Lefty and see if he knows anything about tunnels. Because... He's put a fucking twin foil on his head now. Um, I need to find out where the tunnels are because I need to get back into the prison to get the ink stamp for some reason. I don't actually know why. Hoping it'll make sense as I go along. I still don't know what this junction box is for either. I'm gonna have a conversation with Lefty. He knows stuff uh, normally. Something I could do for you, Larry? Well. Ah. Did you ever hear about a secret tunnel system under new lost wages? <laughs> yeah. That rumor's been around for a while now. You know Allegedly, a famous gang of criminals undermined half the city in the 1920s. Probably an urban legend, like affordable apartments. When I was laying the pipes in the back room, I didn't venture too far into the tunnels. You can get to them through your back room. See you later, Lefty. So obviously we're going into the back room. What did I miss in here? <laughs> it's in the fucking washing machine. The washing machine has now stopped. That's been going the whole time. Here we go then. It's so going in. Oh. An underground river? No, a sewer. Yeah. A rat swims the channel to the right, but where do I go? Oh, no, it's on the... To the left, where the dead alligator is floating. Damn it, I didn't write it down. 
It smells like one of Lefty's socks down here. Nice. The one he brought yeah, with Ham two right weeks now. ago and has been carrying around in his pants ever since. There's a nice. junction. On the left is an empty beer I bottle. To, I'm gonna in end up front somewhere. of me, not a where I straw, be. and on the right, a video cassette with the inscription Live AIDS. I had... Okay. Straight ahead, past the straw. It's getting a little brighter. Oh, the Amber Room. Hmm, it doesn't matter. Faith would only be impressed by 90 timber points. I run into a troll. He looks at me angrily. On the floor, <laughs> there's a 20-sided <laughs> dice, an axe, and a half-full milk <laughs> The troll wants to play uh, D&D. <laughs> Take the die and try to sneak past the troll. You have to roll for dexterity, Larry. Nice, I love it. A what? Uh, that's, that's not, not good. good. You slip on a banana peel, step on a horn, and fall into a gong that just happens to be in the room. And then <laughs> the troll notices you. Now he wants to eat you. What do you do? I run away. <laughs> <laughs> that's great, troll. Didn't it catch it? It might be a bad idea. Now you've got troll rabies. And we're talking about the kind that other people call eternal sleep. <laughs> This wasn't a game you'd have been in some time you didn't get a chance to read it. I forgot you can die. Okay, so this time, before we go in, we're going to look at the mirror that has the directions on it. To the left, the water flows. Up the pipe, the cocktail goes. More than trees can get the axe to get back home. Hey. Just relax. All right, we're gonna try again. And hopefully, Here we I go deciphered then. these correctly. Can oh, I trust pencil? An underground my river. Notepad. No, a sewer. A rat swims the channel to the right, but where do I go? Left. To the left. To the left, where the dead alligator is floating. It smells like one of Lefty's socks down here. The one he rubbed with ham two weeks ago and has been carrying around in his pants ever since. There's a junction. On the left is an empty beer bottle. In front of me, a straw, and on the right, a video cassette with the inscription Live AIDS. I had... Oh no, this is up the cocktail. Up is where the cocktail goes. It's straight ahead Straight up. ahead, past the straw. Might not be right on It's this. getting a little brighter. Oh, the amber room. Hmm. Right, now it doesn't control. matter. Faith would only be impressed by Golden 90 timber points. Get the axe. I run into a troll. He looks at me angrily. On the floor, there's a 20 sided dice, think he wants to play an axe, and, and a half full milk carton. Yeah, we're going to take the axe and we're going to hit him with it this time. Take the axe and chop the troll in half. <laughs> the axe splits the troll right down the middle. The nice. dead troll still seems a little surprised. The axe disintegrates. Well then, I'll keep going. Okay, and then it says relax. The next intersection, to the left, a periscope of a Japanese submarine sticks out of the ground. In front of me stands the monument to the unknown dirty joke. And to the right, a chaise lounge stands We're gonna on relax, a steep I'm guessing slope. chaise lounge. Yeah. Ah. Choose. Make myself comfortable. Make myself comfortable on the chaise lounge. Whoa! Success! I told you there was a passage behind that poster, didn't I? Whoa! Oh, no, you didn't. Hi. What the hell kind of noise are you making now? Nothing. Why are you back in the cell again? This town's uh, crazier than hell. If that's where you want to be, then stay there. I really don't, but I do want to get the ink pad, and I think I need to speak to her again. 
Was the poster really that Can I have the poster? I think I need to show it to Lance. You have defaced Lady Gag. She's a goddess. Oh. Did they finally determine that God is a woman? If your God has the perfect p -p poker face, rides disco sticks, loves herself some bad romances, and kneels at glory holes, then yes. She kneels at glory she holes? Like I don't think she knows that. Behind. Amen, sister. Cool. Right, over here. I have a flashlight that I would like to use with the ink pad. Could pass for a stamp. Just need something to stamp it on. I'm back! Were you gone? The smartphone thingy says we need to meet. I said nothing of the sort. That <laughs> timber thing. Heavens no. I only registered to see how the app works. I scrutinize everything from Prune. Prune? By the way, uh, I know BJ and Faith. What? What do you mean you know them? I was up in the tower with them. The that Prune is true. Tower? Headquarters. How did you manage that? I found this smartphone. Do you still have access to the tower? Maybe. Well, if you could extract some information from their headquarters, then I could imagine going on a date with you. Non-binding. But of course! Here, copy everything you find onto this USB pen drive. She is not going to go on a date with you, man. She is using What's that? you. A 128 gigabyte USB memory stick. Nice. Don't you mean kilobytes? <laughs> You'll figure it out. Simply plug it into the appropriate port. Ah, my uh, specialty. I knew you were going to oh. say that. Come back when you've retrieved the data from Prune headquarters. Anyway. Am I supposed is I'm is there back. Any Were you gone? Conversation? So I oh now I'm gonna guess right no right now. Can I have your poster now? Sorry, Tuck. You have desecrated the goddess. I just can't bear to see her like that. Take her away. Yes! I'm gonna lower this shoulder, this shoulder is fucked. Yes, I want the poster. Right, so if I go back in the summer, do I have to go back or do I just now go to lefties? Yes, we just go to lefties. Right, I showed Lance a penis, strawberry. I showed him a female blow up doll. Hey, Lance. Hmm. No, I think it was just the poster. Look at that poster of Lady Gog. Do you believe in gay icons like her? Uh, uh, what is there to believe? Of course she's real. Uh, check. check. Lance now believes in gay icons. Does he now what? think he's gay? All right, that's enough. Why are you showing me this stuff? Superficial people like you were the reason I didn't want people to know I was gay. But you even get on my nerves when I pretend to be straight. If you really need to hear it, I'm gay. And that's a good thing. Wait, I, I rejected Dick. I totally <laughs> broke his heart, even though I want him too. You can make up for getting on my nerves like that. A little, anyway. Don't worry. I know a thing or two about matchmaking. What it's works for women be. can't be wrong for you. Maybe what? I should have asked someone else. That is very true. So we're just going to go and talk to Dick now. We've convinced Lance he's gay. Or at least convinced him to tell everybody else that he's gay, should I put it? Rather than convince, it himself, safe convince himself that he's gay. Such a weird ass game. Hey Dick! Good news! Lance is gay! Do tell. I mean, he wants to get back together with you. Really? Oh, Larry, it's not that simple. When we split up, he threw my gift into the ocean. I can't what, what forgive him gift? until until he apologizes and admits he screwed up. What happened to the gift? Well, uh, that was down at the pier. Lance threw it away into the ocean. Okay. Catch you later. So now I need to go and look through the stuff at the pier. At least now I have a reason to look through the stuff at the pier. There's something sparkling in the middle there of all that go. flotsam and junk. Hmm, could that maybe 
Yes, that must be the gift Dick wanted to give Lance. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get the ring to him. Dick was about to propose. He found the ring? Yes, at the pier. Oh, Dick was so romantic. And all I did was insult him and throw his present away. I really fucked up, Larry. I have to apologize to Dick. You ready to? You just walk up to him now. We had this one romantic night with a bottle of Doom Perignon. Check. If I had another bottle of that, I could apologize to Dick. Lance? Yep. Did you let me See put the bottle? Oh, they let me put the bottle at the pier and now I don't want it at the pier. Hmm. I'll take it with me again. Right. <sighs> we'll go back to Lance. We're gonna give this doom perignon. Lance, you boy. That's doom perignon. Dick's in my favorite champagne. <laughs> I have some wonderful memories of this hooch. There's this one really romantic night with Dick at the pier. I really fucked up, Larry. If I don't do something, I'll lose Dick forever. <laughs> oh, you won't. Could you do fine. me a huge favor, Larry? What are we up to? I've had enough orgies to do me for a while. No. You have to prepare a wedding. Now I'll propose to Dick and we'll get married right away. Either it works or it doesn't, but I have to try. There's the wedding Lesson. chapel down on the pier. Right, now we can but take it back. the priest has been missing for some time now. Do you think you can find him? I'll use the time to write my wedding speech. Okay, I'll help you. But this time you have to do something for me too. Sure. Okay. Uh, what do you want? If I take care of this, will you give me the highest possible score on timber? Okay. You got a deal. Uh, oh, uh, please get a ring for Dick and chill that bottle of champagne at the wedding chapel. Yeah, and not a, a word to Dick, the... please. I want uh, it to be a surprise. You got it. Put that in the champagne bucket. That keeps the bottle nice and cold. Right, I okay, got a book holder, a wedding arch, some candlesticks. Candlesticks are pretty useless without candles. I need to find some candles. I don't have any candles, do I? Or anything that constitutes as a candle. No, no, I don't. Okay. Um. Do you know anything about a priest? Hello, what's up? Do you know where the priest from the wedding chapel is? Oh, you mean the priestess? Haven't seen her in ages. Be tough, right? See you later. What happened to you? Your flyer opened my eyes, Larry. 11, 11, 11. They don't want us to think for ourselves. They're trying to manipulate our brain waves with Fucking these well. smartphones to control every last aspect of our lives. Really fucked him up. Well, there's nothing to be done about it. Wake up, sheeple. Here. This will protect you from them. Make sure they don't kidnap you. Do you know anything about Do you know priestess? where the priestess from the wedding chapel is? Oh, it's you coming. mean priestess Tuck. <laughs> I haven't seen her today. See you later. Okay, what did he give me anyway? He gave me a foil hat. That doesn't help me. Uh, according to Smokey, it protects the brain from thought manipulation rays, or something like that. Hi. Are you? Are you the priestess from the wedding chapel on Pier 69? Who else, my dear? Who else? 
I'm a best man, and I'm supposed to find someone who can perform a marriage ceremony. <gasps> this sounds like a job for Tuck Ardale, Queen of Hearts, People's Princess, and Drag Icon. I need some time to get everything ready and say goodbye to my daddy. Please, just go. As you can see, <laughs> goodbyes are always so emotional for me. Really, just go. Do me a favor. <laughs> Prepare my altar on the pier. Here are the keys. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. All you have to do is put the book of love and the candles in their places. Okay. And sweetie, please light the candles too. They symbolize the fire of love. Oh, I do have some matches. And the old wedding arch could use a little pepping up, darling. Maybe some flowers. And I do Don't have you some flowers. Don't want to get married, baby girl. I'm an entertainer from head to toe. I improvise always. As soon as the wedding couple is ready, we'll meet there. Okay. On it. So we now have. Oh. So we now have the key. Let's see action. what's in here. Okay, it's just like Tuck said. The Book of Love, candles, and a strange remote control shaped like a bear. For that creepy old bear I bet it's for that creepy animatronic bear that plays wedding music. That is so Tuck. There weren't any flowers here for the wedding arch, though. It's okay, we have flowers. So, we need to put the book... On the book holder. Book of Love we in the right place. Check. check. We need to put the candles in the candlesticks. Now all you have to do is light them. We need to use our matches to light the candles. Candles lit. Check. And then we got flowers for the wedding art. Hmm. Tuck was right. It looks way better this Marvelous. way. Marvelous. And I'm going to try this weird ass remote with a weird ass Not bear. until the wedding. Ah, okay, fair. Right, so now we're going to go back and talk to Lance and tell him everything is set up. What are you waiting for, Larry? Did you find the priest? And yeah. Is he ready for the wedding? Yeah. Everything's taken care of. Uh, we did are good you also to go. get the ring for Dick and yep. shield the champagne bottle at the wedding yeah. chapel? Everything's ready for the wedding. Thank See? you. All we need now is the other groom. <gasps> Can you somehow get Dick to come to the pier with you? I'll wait for you there. I'll think of something. Okay. On it. Let me know when we're all set. Oh, God. Lots of toing and praying. So I now need to speak to Dick. Keep it up and stay fit. Hey, Dick. Come on. We'll go down to the pier. Why would I do that? Let's eat corn dogs. Oh, why not? That'll at least take my mind off things. Sorted. What's Yay! going on here? <laughs> It's time for a wedding, my darlings. Wedding? Lance? Larry, was this your idea? No. No. It was all Lance's idea. I just sent the ball and ran with it. Larry was a great help. <laughs> oh, but it was so my decision sweet. to do this. I want to be with you, Dick. I know that now. That's what I want too, Lance. I don't care what other people think. Psst. Larry, <laughs> the He's music. So cute. Uh, yeah, the music. oh, right. Dear friends and lovelies, we are gathered here today so because cute. there is nothing more beautiful than this outfit! Don't I look absolutely <laughs> stunning? <clears throat> and, of course, while two lonely hearts have come to join and become one giant heart. <laughs> to this end, I ask you, um, what's your name, my pretty? Lance, straight man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> never mind. And you, little one, what's your name? Richard Ryder. 
Of course. So, you two sweethearts want to enter the rainbow-colored bonds of matrimony? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. More than anything. Oh my Yay. goodness. Weddings always make me cry like a star whose cloud has been hacked. Quiet. Uh, did anyone else except her say anything? By the power invested in me, I hereby declare you two to be husband and B-A-E. Do you have the rings, Larry? Thanks, Larry. Um, thanks, Larry. The ring looks a little feminine. Don't worry. It'll look good on you. And <laughs> as my goddess once said, how the hell are you supposed to love anyone if you don't love yourself? Can Go I get an amen here, sisters? Amen. amen. Let the ceremony begin. <laughs> Yay. It's lurk. Nice. I'm so happy. We did a good thing. We're so grateful. Yes, without you, I would have. We would have. Don't mention it. Larry Laffer brings people together. Naturally, we gave you the highest possible score on Timber, my little Cupid. Oh, some. Oh, thanks. I totally forgot about that. So, what's next for you two? A little honeymoon can come, maybe. Sounds about <laughs> right. So, what about you now? Two of the three hottest guys in New Lost Wages are now taken. <laughs> Larry's already got a target in his sights, doesn't he? Oh, yes. Faith, here I come. Well, Pi, I should have pretty close to 90 timber points now, shouldn't I? Nah, Your right timber say. score is 31. Ooh, hmm. I'm so close with my guess. Still Very not hard. enough. What's wrong with the presentation unit? Is everything ready? That unit must be prepared exactly according to the specifications. It's technical on it. Quiet. Quiet. I need to think. I need to know what's going on, Faith. The new version of the Pi software still has some bugs. Contact with that miserable wretch threw her completely off her game. If we have to postpone the presentation, there'll be some pretty nasty repercussions. Absolutely mm -hmm. out of the question. We've been planning this too long. To postpone everything now would be an admission of failure. That Share prices true. would plummet. The of demonstration course. unit simply needs to be readjusted. I'll take care of it. You keep your nose out of things. They almost found out about us. You know what would happen next. Nah. What a beautiful episode. They got married. I'm so gushy. It's lovely. Oh, but that's not the end of the story. We still have to figure out what's going on with Prune and somehow get a date with Faith. We're only on 31 points. She wants 90. This is going to take a while. Catch me next time where we will be continuing the story. As always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, guys, remember to stay safe, stay weird, and I will see you soon.